Well, hello, you guys. It's January 16th, 2023 again. 34 degrees. It's going to drop 9.09 p.m. in Big Bear, California. Um, hey, guys, if you guys like the video, would you consider subscribing and hitting the like button? I know, like, you shouldn't do it at the beginning, right? Because you want to make sure it's a decent video. If you guys like what I do, that would really help me out a lot. I never realized that until just now, and I've been doing this for eight years. Go back to all my videos. 3,000 plus videos over eight years. I've never asked you guys. So I would be so grateful if you guys could do that for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, it really helps apparently. And uh, I work my butt off for this. So I'm really hoping that I can, you know, get some more subscribers and some more likes on these beads. Anyway, guys, we are going to go on a little drive to Big Bear City because we haven't done much on Big Bear City today. And it's snowing pretty steady at the moment. So I am super, super excited about this. Um, it just started really, really coming down. So basically, when that happens, when it starts to really pick up, that's when I get my buns in gear and I come out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut across to North Shore. Oh, that was really cool. We're gonna cut across to North Shore right here on St from Stanfield Cutoff. Oh, look at all this snow blowing. It's so beautiful. Oh my, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, guys. All right, here we go. Turning left on Stanfield. Let's get a little loose, maybe? Nah. Not gonna happen. Here's the lake to the left. You guys aren't going to be able to see it, but we're going to take a point out that way. Oh, look, you can see. Oh, wow, you can see. Look at that, guys. Wow, I love this camera. So that's the lake right there. I know it's a horrible view, but we're going to roll that way. It's still great. It's freaking 9, nine o'clock at night. It's awesome to see it through the camera. I, I can't see it as good with my own eyes, so that's great. Anyway... Yeah, guys, we have another few inches of the snow possible overnight. <laughs> a second. We're on North Shore. We have a few more uh, inches of snow possible, as I said, overnight tonight, and I hope it happens for us. I'm doubting it because the radar looks like it's kind of all over the place. Like like the heavier portions of it are just going to miss Big Bear of this last little impulse from the storm. So uh, just keep your fingers crossed that it does happen. Keep it your fingers crossed that it does happen. Yeah, guys, thank you guys so much. You, you, guys have, you guys have been so incredible. Such a great impact on me. And I will always do these videos to the best of my ability for you guys. I will never slack off on these. Even when I had COVID three weeks ago, I was still making these vids when I couldn't hardly get out of bed. I was crawling to the car. But you guys mean so much to me. It's it's so easy to work hard for you guys. So yeah, 29 degrees. Look at that, it dropped quickly, didn't it? Wow, 29 degrees. Those of you coming up in the next day, um, I'm not sure what the type, what the chain controls are going to be like. So call the phone number 800 Caltrans. It's a very simple thing to do. You just call them. It takes about a minute for the automated system. Um, you just type in or verbalize which highway number you're going to want to drive on, and it'll give you the most up-to-date information. There is also a Caltrans app, but I just checked it out, and it looks like that costs money. So there's an app like right below it. It's a very similar app. It was free. Obviously, it had a bunch of add-ons that you could pay for, but it was free. And uh, it, it'll give you the basics so you don't have to spend any money for the extra add-ons. So I suggest you guys check those out um, just to play it extra safe. <clears throat> and for instance, if we are having a storm, if it's if you're driving up here during a storm, obviously check it, check Caltrans before you even get here. But at the same time, check it again on your drive because you never know what's, you know, you. You could check it and they could say R2 chain conditions. 
and then when you get up here, the road will be closed. So you always want to double and triple check while you're driving up here. Because most of us come from a fair distance away from this mountain range. So it's plenty enough time to create problems while you're driving up here. So I just want you guys to be safe. I want you guys to have fun. But yeah, welcome to Big Bear City, folks. 28 degrees, steady snowfall. We'll check out what the, what the app says for us here. Check it out guys. That little blue dot to the right of Los Angeles, that's us. Just a little a little bit of snow, but because of all the lift that these mountains create with these storms, that's why it, it's gonna continue snowing pretty good for a little bit. So let's let's check it out real quickly, okay? I'm gonna hit play. This is the Weather Channel app. This is my most reliable app. I've used them all, guys. I have used them all. This is the one that has been the most reliable by far. My phone service doesn't seem to be too reliable right now though. <laughs> oh well. Oh wait, it's because I didn't push play. I thought I did. I hope I'm not screwing this up for you guys. I hope you can see okay. You see that huge impulse just going south? Oh man. If that would hit us, that would be like three or four inches per hour type thing. So that could have been the th three inches right there. The big orange spot. Watch this one more time, one more time, one more time. Blah! All right. <laughs> All right. And then it, it says one to three inches for the rest of the night. This is what it says. Our low is gonna be 18 degrees, one to three inches. So I hope you guys you know what, I didn't let it sit there long enough for you guys to read that. I hope you guys are coming up. Um, there's hardly anyone in town right now. Everybody left already. So for those who like to be in peace and harmony, get your buns up here as soon as you can. We have plenty of space for you now. Plenty. And one day, you guys, if, if this YouTube channel really, really does blow up, I promise you, I'm going to like invest in some sort of a bed and breakfast not an airbnb but like a regular hotel type thing up here um or turn a beautiful house into a hotel and it, it'll be for us like a members only type of a thing it'll be just for us you guys i really want you guys to always have a great time and i like to go have fun and then you guys can go cruising with me on these drives and stuff like that that would be great i'm probably gonna have to be insured for that but that's okay is this paradise? Oh, hang on, guys. All right. I'll talk to you guys in just a second. I need to answer my wife's phone. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to go to Baldwin. We're going to take this long way around, see how much or how little snow there is in Baldwin. I really want you guys to see this. Of course, we do it during the aftermath video. Usually, I do the aftermath video the day after the last bit of snow um, for every specific storm, the, the next morning, because I don't want much snow to melt, just so you know, you guys can see. But tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be sleeping in because I have that 845 Fox weather interview. And I wanna make sure that I am fully rested for that. Three to five minutes, you guys, on the news. I can't believe it, like, I can't believe it. So right now, guys, we're on Highway 18. This is the backside. This is what, if you continue driving down this highway right here, you're gonna end up in Apple Valley and Lucerne Valley and Victorville, et cetera, et cetera. That is the route we are taking. We're not gonna see many vehicles on the road, even though it's, look guys, it's only 9.23 p.m., 28 degrees, but look, look where we're at. This is Baldwin Lake to the right. I can't wait to see it during the daytime, you guys, that blue area, because usually it's completely dry, except for a couple weeks out of the year after some big storms, that it turns into a humongous lake. 
like almost almost the size of Big Bear Lake. It's it's crazy. All right, so let's do that. We're driving in the middle, guys, because as I tell you, when there's no one on the road, this is the way that I like to maintain the safety for myself. Because if we do lose control, at least we'll have a little bit of room. But we got to get over because the car's coming. It gives you, as I said, the option to be able to pull over or to correct what's going on. And for those of you wondering, I'm driving a 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT. It's their most bad arse model of Outback that they make. <clears throat> it's got a lot of neat, a lot of features, a lot of safety features. Um, I love the safety features on this bad boy. I'm loving all this blowing snow on the road. It's just amazing. It's so beautiful. So Baldwin Lake, you guys, is here to the right. We're going to drive all the way around Baldwin Lake. Then I'm going to go to Taco Smell and grab my wife and I some Din Din. It's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good night. Right now we spoil ourselves. Okay, so we spoil ourselves once or twice per month at my favorite restaurant up here called Captain's Anchorage. It's pretty expensive, but it's worth every penny and they have the best prime rib around. It might be the only prime rib around, but it's the best. guys go in there the owner patty she is usually there say hello to her for me please she is such a sweet lady she is so sweet you guys and they have cool ghost stories about that place that place was was owned by andy divine the the actor <laughs> back in i think the 50s or 60s or something like that 40s 50s the 50s or 60s i should know this I, don't, I hope I'm not embarrassing myself by being so out, off date here, but it is what it is. I'm doing the best I think I can. Here is the lone street light, just in the middle of nowhere. Look at this thing. Just literally, there's just one. <laughs> it's just, there it is. There she blows. And as you can see, you can see dirt over here. There's hardly any snow over here. You can see dirt on the side of the road. That's what happens on this part of town. I refer to it as the Big Bear Snow Rule, you guys. That's a term that I coined, just meaning that one side of town always gets more than the other. The Big Bear Dam and Boulder Bay area, part of Big Bear Lake, gets the most snow in the valley when it comes to the valley floor. And this side gets the least amount. The Baldwin Lake area when it comes to uh, the same elevation on the valley floor. Yeah, we are gripping like champs right now, guys. We're doing great. We haven't slipped at all this storm. We hardly ever slip, guys. Hardly ever. Okay, we're gonna turn that down for a minute. Temperature has dropped to 27 degrees. We're gonna kind of go out a little bit on the map, just to kind of. There we go, so you guys can see where we're at. Over there, all the way over here. If you keep on going straight on this road, you're gonna go all the way into the desert. And we're turning right on Baldwin Lake Road. And this is going to end up taking us to the corner of Highway 38 and Big Bear Boulevard, which is essentially Highway 18. We just came from Highway 18 just now. We just turned, on, turned off of Highway 18 to get to come in here. Okay, so... Yeah, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying your night. hope you're having a beautiful evening. Thank you for enjoying what I do. I love doing this for you guys. 
it's it's so much fun for me. I can't believe I'm doing this for eight straight years. Never missed one storm, you guys, not one. It's it's remarkable actually. Now that I'm married, I want to be able to take vacations and stuff every once in a, a blue moon. And, and what I mean by a vacation is like, just going down the mountain, like and staying at the beach for like two nights, three nights. Um, it's tough though, this time of year, because I really don't want to miss anything. So I just delegate myself to just working my butt off up here working as hard as I can and doing the best that I can and whenever we get any weather I just kick butt and take names for you guys and you guys give me so much inspiration and so much hope you guys are such loving people the most blessed guy in the world I am I swear I really am you guys really are amazing If you guys still haven't yet, <laughs> if this is getting too annoying, let me know. But if you guys still haven't yet, if you could please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I work really hard at this. And I just, uh, I'm just hoping for a future on YouTube, I decided. The comments you guys leave me have completely changed me. And I just absolutely love you guys so freaking much. Anyway, back to the weather. Um, we've got a little something coming in on Thursday. It looks like it's gonna be literally a dusting. We're not gonna get much at all, um, not even an inch. And then after that, it looks like we're out of the woods in terms of snow and rain for the unforeseeable future. But the good news, for all you snow lovers like myself, is February is technically the snowiest month in Big Bear. According to like US climate data and stuff like that. And March, I think, is the second snowiest month. However, in the eight years I've lived here, January has been definitely the dominant month for snow up here. And this time of year is when we when we get the huge snowstorms, it sticks around for a little while. Once, you know, February and especially March come around, the sun's at a different angle, so it'll melt the snow faster and the temperatures are a little bit warmer, especially March, obviously. Um, so to get a, a snowpack in March to last a long time is, is not too likely. But this time of year is when is our best chance, late, late December through January to get the big storms and to have a good snowpack. But we, we haven't, we, we don't have any snowpack really. This storm definitely gave us something nice in some parts of town. Like the Upper Moon Ridge video that I'm uploading right now for you guys, wow, that was incredible. They have so much more snow up there, I couldn't believe it. It's just a few hundred feet difference in elevation, but they got a lot more snow. Hectic driving up there, you guys. Avoid it if you can during these types of storms. There were, there were a lot of cars stuck on the steep slopes, like in the middle of the slopes, and I felt really, really bad for them. Um, there wasn't anybody stranded, so you don't have to worry about that, but there were like five or six cars just like right next to each other, just stuck, probably tripping out, like what are we gonna do? I know the feeling. It's not fun. Okay, so we just left literally the least snowy part of town. We're still here, but we're starting to uh, head back the other direction towards where we get more snow. As you can see, the side of the roads, there's like nothing on the side of the roads, you guys. This is just literally nothing. I'm gonna slow down for a second, guys, and put the camera outside the window to cool it off. Because I don't want, and I'm slowing down so I don't get you guys wind blown, the sound of wind just crushing us. So here we go.
Sorry guys. I hope that was yeah that cooled the phone down significantly. see there's already more snow over here it's, 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 it's funny to me it's the same thing every single storm this time of year now this part of town gets hit first with our monsoon storms though Actually, we are. Yeah, we are. My bad. We're still getting snow over here. to you it's snowing really good on the other side of town where I live and even better over by the dam but this is what happens out here it's just it's still snowing but it's just really light snow flurries right now folks this is what we are on highway 38 never ever hesitate if you have any questions I'm definitely here for you guys I want you guys to be safe and have a beautiful time up here and I don't know everything about Big Bear I I try to learn but there's a lot that I don't know and so a lot of a lot of the questions that you guys ask me it makes me research some things and I enjoy that because I I really want to do know as much about my town as I possibly can I tried to go in, into that off-roading area in his Subaru. What were you thinking, buddy? Look at 
this car, guys. This car is awesome. This car is awesome. Okay. We're going to turn left on State Lane. If you pass this, these streets right here, State Lane to the left, Mitchell to the right, there's one more neighborhood about um, two miles up. And then after that, you're going all the way back up to uh, Onyx Summit to head out of this region. So as I said, this is State Lane. There's a bunch of snow stuck in there and it's all rubbing. So I might stop at the car wash, believe it or not, even though it's 27 degrees because the water comes out really warm and just uh, get all that stuff off. We're gonna turn right here. This is about uh, almost halfway in. What's this street called? Willow Lane. those lights on that house that's beautiful that's really beautiful can we go straight uh, road not maintained you know what we're not gonna risk it in here right now hang on I'm gonna turn around I thought I had the camera on I've been talking to you guys for like two minutes. I, I went down this street and these puddles are really deep. That one that we just went through, I'm glad I didn't go any faster through it or we would have definitely bottomed out. That wouldn't have been good. Temperatures dropped down to 26 degrees. It's really bumpy through here, so it's hard to keep this stable. As I said, we're in Irwin. Boom, boom, boom. Right next to Highway 38. And we're gonna be headed back here. Right there. Let's do it. Guys, I'm so grateful for you guys hanging out with me and being here with me. <clears throat> I know it sounds odd, but every time I hit the record button, it really feels like you guys are right here with me. It's a great feeling. Awesome, my friend thank you so much and yes that is exactly what it is and I'll send you a link tomorrow for my news interview wish me luck my friend everyone's so excited for me this is really cool 
watch it be just like nothing <laughs> but that's okay like it's it's getting my passion out there I might not know as much as a lot of people about weather but I love the weather Thank you for that, and I really try hard on this channel. I love doing what I do for you guys. So thank you for the compliment, and until tomorrow, have a great night, my friend. Okay, guys, we're on Highway 38, again. Side. Let's see. I'm sure he did because he's he had a nice Subaru. That doesn't mean anything, I guess, but it might be somewhat impactful. It's coming right up here on the right hand side. He's still there. I don't know if he's stuck or just staying there. What do you guys think? He's got like a big boat on his roof. He's not in the car. uploading at 10 30 and then this one's obviously going to be in the early early morning probably one or two in the morning but it is 10 o'clock just about right now 26 degrees in big bear city california on my side of town we are expecting another couple inches of snow i'm predicting we might get another inch maybe maybe taco smell right now and go get my wife and myself some dinner she likes those mexican pizzas i'm feeling like some nachos bel grande and maybe like a quesadilla or something i don't know i don't know All right, so when we came out of Baldwin Lake, this is the street that we turned left onto Highway 38. This is Shea Road. Now we're turning left onto Big Bear Boulevard. All right. There we go. Roads are getting a little bit icy now. took North Shore to get all the way over here for the most part, so we're going to take Big Bear Boulevard to get back, so you guys can get a different perspective. There's always going to be a little more traffic on Big Bear Boulevard, always.
guys are getting a couple snow flurries on your side of town, but where I am, over in Moon Ridge, it's snowing pretty good. At least when I left, it was snowing pretty good. But I think you guys are just about out of the woods. And then Thursday, there's a little tiny impulse coming through that could leave just a dusting of snow. And then we're not gonna get any more snow or rain for a while, is what it looks like. That is a, a local friend who owns a jujitsu studio. Jeez, I am keeping my eye on the road. He keeps on telling me to keep my eyes on the road. I am. I'm gonna roll down the window again and put the phone out. You guys can see the snow is picking up now. Big Bear Snow Play. It's a great place to take your kids sledding. You gotta pay for it there, but it's got um, like a, gosh, what's it called? A moving sidewalk type thing that pulls you up to the top. So your kids can just sled and sled and sled and sled and not lose too much energy. So that's really, really cool. And also there is the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain, which is in the Big Bear Lake side of things. So I want to take us on, I was going to take the back roads to get to Taco Bell, but I want to take you guys on Big Bear Boulevard, which we're on right now, <clears throat> but through the main part of town for the most part, so you guys can see how little traffic there is right now. There's hardly anyone on the roads. And it's 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 great. It, it feels like a little town. Don't worry, I'm not gonna take you guys to the drive-thru with me. The video's gonna end right right before we pull in. But yeah, I hope this is very in, um, informative for you guys. I hope it gives you enough visual information to make a good judgment call on whether you want to come up here or not. Don't let me driving like a champ 
um, make you think that it's that easy. It's really, it, it, it just takes a little practice, you guys. You just gotta get a feel for it. That's the thing, you just gotta get a feel for it. And as I always tell you guys, one of the best things to do is when you're up here, go into one of the, uh, the ski resort parking lots at night when there's no one there and just let loose, go crazy, lose control intentionally and practice regaining control. That monster. Jeez, it's huge. Okay, Big Bear Boulevard, guys. There's Arco, one of our few gas stations in town. And then coming around this corner, all these lights, that's Snow Summit. They're making snow right now. And it's gonna look beautiful from here. Oh, it's gonna look gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. And here are our grocery stores. There's Stater Bros right there to the left. And then we have Vaughn's right here to the right. And they're both shopping centers with a few different types of shops in, in there. There's a T-Mobile over here. And then on this side where Stater's is, there's a Boost Mobile. There's Spectrum over here. We have a DIY over here. There's a Starbucks and a US bank in the Vaughn's parking lot. We don't have any Bank of America or Bank of America ATMs, you guys. So beware. I know a lot of people use B of A and it's just kind of odd that we don't have anything. It's not snowing anymore over here, but you can tell it's snowing at Snow Summit. a lot you know it's rare to see this time of year this uh or when we have this type of weather to see hardly any cars on the road there's like no one in front of us on the other side there is but there's no one in front of us now we're crossing summit boulevard that's where snow summit is Woo! oh yeah guys thank you guys again for the love and support i appreciate you guys very much as i said if you guys enjoy the video if you could hit like and subscribe that would be awesome because i want you guys to be here with me and enjoy this journey that i'm taking on freaking youtube like I, I would really appreciate that and i hope you guys have a really great rest of your night i hope you guys stay safe out there once again don't hesitate to ask me any questions i'm here for you guys i want to answer whatever i can and if i don't know the answer i promise you i will find out for you i'll do my best but in the meantime, I love each and every single one of you with all my heart. Thank you for everything. And I will chat with you guys later. This video will be probably posted at, I don't know, probably one or two in the morning. Take care, guys. January 16th, 2023 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. You guys, right when I left Taco Bell, it started snowing, these, these bigger snowflakes. So I had to get this for you guys. <laughs> I had to get this for you guys. So yeah, we've got yeah some nice nice size snowflakes coming down. I have loved this so much. It's to make me happy. If it makes you happy. Seriously, I am such a weirdo. You guys don't have to agree. <laughs> it's really nice when I when I'm self-deprecating like that a lot of you come to my defense and say no you're not you just really love what you do 
And you know what? I agree with you guys. But I, I, do, I kind of have a weird side to me. I'm a different type of animal. So we're going to turn right here on Summit Boulevard and just go the rest of the way to Moonridge from Brownie Lane. Oh, I love these big snowflakes. I love them. I love them. I love them. There's one of the big empty parking lots for the resorts. I do donuts in there all the time, guys. There's Walgreens. And we are at Moon Ridge Road right now, folks. So once again, thank you guys for everything. I love you guys so much. You guys are so inspirational for me. You guys give me so much hope and so much love. Um, yeah, subscribe and like, please. I love you guys. I could use the help. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. January 16th, 2023. 20, 26 degrees, 10.09 p.m. now. I promise I won't update the video. <laughs>